Hello everyone, this is Sia Bhidi from Mythos Tree and today I'll be taking you to the world of numbers, mathematics in ancient India. The first and famous mathematician being Baudhayana from ancient India 800 BC to 740 BC. Baudhayana's treatise Sulbha Shastra or Sulabha Sutra shows us that he was the first human to determine the value of pi and also prove that hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus height square or lesser known as c square is equal to a square plus b square in a right angle triangle which is also isoscalus and is now known as the Pythagoras theorem. He is also the person who found the value of square root of 2 up to 9 decimal places. Some of his theorems were very simple yet meaningful like in a rhombus the diagonals bisect each other at 90 degree, the diagonals of rectangle are equal and bisect each other, the midpoints of a rectangle joined forms a rhombus whose area is half the rectangle. The area of a square formed by joining the middle points of a square is half the original one. He was a Vedic priest too who was a mathematician and a craftsman who used his math to figure how to build the sacrificial altars of highest order. His book also has geometric solutions of a linear equation in a single unknown and has quadratic equations of the form ax to the power 2 is equal to c and ax to the power 2 plus bx equals c in his sutras. He explained the Pythagoras theorem as follows. He said that it means that a rope stretched along the length of the diagonal produces an area which the vertical and horizontal sides make together. Bhaudhayana also tried to find a circle whose area is the same as that of a square. He said, draw half its diagonal about the center towards the east-west line, then describe a circle together with a third part of that which lies outside the square. His book Sulabha Sutra is a book whose title roughly translates to string of formulae or a formula book. All these contributions prove that ancient India had brilliant and curious minds. Let us take these great Indians as inspirations and work on ourselves for the development of fields of science, mathematics and medicine in the modern world. I'll be back with another great mind in the next episode. Until then, stay healthy, stay happy. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to Mythos Tree.